Good morning, friends, and welcome to a new video. So, update, I've recently finished reading The Secret History, and if you're curious what I thought about the book and the characters, you can find it here. I'll probably link it here or here, wherever it pops up. And then for my birthday, Kat very kindly gifted me this, which is volume 1 of Jujutsu Kaisen. If you don't know what Jujutsu Kaisen is, it's a manga and an anime about this boy who gets swept into the life of being kind of like a demon hunter or spirit hunter, something like that. So I've already read a couple volumes of the manga as well, like past the story that is already translated into an anime and yeah i've watched the anime probably a million times now but it's still so much fun to own a physical copy and just look at the art look at that like oh my goodness and yeah i'm just so grateful to be able to receive this book so thank you so much cat she also gave me an 80s album this is Oh, was <laughs> the other way. Fever, I think that's... No, no. Zero Fever epilogue. So when I first got into K-pop, I'm like 80% sure that after BTS, the group that I've watched and I was really impressed by was 80s because their vocals are amazing. Their songs are also really good. So I'm so excited to kind of relive that love for them because I kind of haven't been keeping track of their comebacks and their songs. I probably just know the title songs and I've really actually enjoyed them a lot as well but I feel like a lot of the songs that are in the albums are really good as well so I'm really really grateful to Kat for giving me this album. <laughs> And I'm still holding it the wrong way, sorry. So I'm actually not um, actively reading anything. I've just been reading an audiobook of Jade Fire Gold. So if you don't know, Jade Fire Gold was one of my most anticipated reads for 2021. And I'm quite disappointed by it as I'm listening to the audiobook. Like, it doesn't, doesn't stick to my mind and when I was thinking of how to describe this book, I even forgot what it's about. So I'm just looking at my Goodreads and it's about this girl and this boy. And the girl is a lost heir to the kingdom, I don't know. And then she has these powers that she's been hiding before because people with powers are persecuted. Is that the word? Like they're killed or thrown into prison. And then the guy... Okay, never mind. The guy apparently is the lost heir. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And the girl is the daughter of someone in the palace, I believe. I'm not sure. Like, I forgot. It's not that striking to me. And I'm even considering on DNFing it. Or I don't know if I'll be listening, it, listening to it casually. And then I've also been reading The Red Palace, which is a book about a palace nurse, a police inspector, and it's set in Joseon, Korea. So yes, but I've been reading that for a while now because at first I was really enamored by the story, but I lost interest. So I haven't continued reading that. So probably today I'll be reading Jujutsu Kaisen, although I'm quite busy today i have a lot of things like i need to edit videos for pre-upload and stuff like that so yeah we can do it fighting
Hello everyone! So last night, I started reading Deserter by Junji Ito. So this is another story collection by Junji Ito. And oh, and I also finished Jujutsu Kaisen yesterday, which was still so much fun. And I really enjoyed my time reading it. So for Deserter, I... I got up to a father's love. I still haven't finished that chapter. And this one is turning out to be a really, really good um, Junji Ito story collection because the last one I read, I believe, was Love Sickness. Either Love Sickness or Smashed, and those were okay. I still enjoyed them, but I'm finding that this one is so much more amazing and fun. So far, I've read Bio House, Face Thief, Where the Sandman Lives, The Devil's Logic, The Long Hair in the Attic, Scripted Love, and The Reanimator Sword. And I'm finding that there's a good variety of stories, so it's not just like haunted houses it's not just like gory stuff so i mean <laughs> junji ito so of course it's quite um graphic but still there's a great variety and you can really distinguish story from story so this is turning out to be probably my favorite story collection of course uzumaki was like obviously just three books of Uzumaki in one and Kyo as well it's just one story but this one is so good so if I had to pick a favorite story so far I'll probably pick Face Thief which is essentially about the girl who steals other people's faces and it was just so much fun <laughs> and yes so the plan for today is to finish reading this because I really am enjoying it and once I read a Junji Ito anything like story collection or Uzumaki and Gyo, I really really like finishing them really fast so yes I also started this last night and it was dark and it made it so much creepier because I saw in Isabella um, Throne of Pages vlog that she said that it's so much better to read Junji Ito at night and she's she's right but I'm still going to read it today. Oh, and also last night, Business Proposal's sixth epi episode came out and oh my goodness. If you are still not watching the K-drama Business Proposal, go freaking watch it. It's so good. If you love like just this kilig or just this super fun and romantic kind of k-drama you would really love business proposal if you were the kind of girl who liked <laughs> meet your garden in high school or like it started with a kiss you would really like this it's so freaking good it's turning out to be one of my ultimate favorites and me and my high school friends bond over this because they also watch it because it's so freaking good i actually spent a good chunk of yesterday afternoon um talking to my friend and we were just talking about k dramas and chinese dramas and thai dramas so i should have just said asian dramas but yes we love it so much it gives us so much happiness and business proposal is something you should not miss it's so funny like super hella funny levels and yes
Hello everyone, so I'm thinking of ending the vlog here and before I do that, I'm going to tell you about um, Frank Frankenstein <laughs> No Before I do that, I'm going to tell you about Deserter which is a story collection by Junji Ito I rated it 5 stars and it features a lot of stories inside this whole book and it's actually my favorite out of all the story collection collections that I've read of Junji Ito's but if you've read like Uzumaki or Gyo or Tommy I guess those are far more creepier and more gory than this story collection so if you're just new to Junji Ito I think this one would be a great starting point I think the last two stories were actually my least favorite um, bullied and deserter so bullied was quite disturbing <laughs> and deserter was not really that exciting again thank you so much for watching and i hope you're doing well see you in the next video bye bye